Um, okay, a couple things going on here. Also, don't forget, Monday and Tuesday, we're going to be broadcasting live from New Orleans at the Crazy Horse on Bourbon Street. Yeah. The show is hitting the road again, and that will be uh, on the air 3 to 6 Eastern time. We're not going to do mornings because, you know, there's no there's no one really drinking. That's uh, Well, they are drinking, but not... Not as much as if it, if, it, if it was an afternoon radio they're, show. They're coming off the end of a night drinking uh, at that hour, you know, so they're, they're staggering to their rooms to go to, to sleep. We want to catch everybody right when they started up and, you know, a few hours into their beginning of their drinking and hours. Yeah, we got a great location. So uh, if you're a fan of the show and you happen to be down there, great. Stop by and say hi, okay? Hey, that balcony is a little thin, huh? Is it? Like it's, 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 well, they're not known for their real wide balconies in New Orleans. Huh, what's that? Like two to three feet like wide. Two to three feet wide. Are you kidding? Yeah. So we're not going to have like chairs and a, a, a broadcast table or anything. We're going to be standing up with headset mics on. And the, the, you know, the earphones with the headset mic, we're all going to look like, um, like Ashley Simpsons. <laughs> With a little headset strung in front of us. A little weird. I kind of like the security of a mic. They microphone. told us we're going to look like Garth Brooks. Is that what they said, Garth Brooks? Yeah, it's like the the older version of that microphone. Oh, great. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, anything's an improvement over the last time we went to Mardi Gras, and, oh. and poor Jimmy Norton looked like uh, Howard Cosell. Oh, we had the, uh, yeah, I had the Dan Rather from the convention floor. Wasn't that him? Yeah, the real the, big headphones. On the Democratic and... National Convention, he had the big headphones with the antennas coming up <laughs> off of them. <laughs> and the big headset thing slung in front of your face. Yeah, well... It'll be fun. There's so. something to be said for holding a microphone, though. You get a little more. It's I don't know. It's a security issue. You know, kind of. You get security on stage, right, Jimmy? Yeah. Holding the mic. Stuff yeah, like I mean, I, I prefer it. I, a wireless. I did when I did Tonight Show. Maybe do a wireless. It was a little odd because you don't know what to do with your hands. You know, it's like what do you do with your hands? Are you yeah. Holding a mic? That's weird when you go on a show like that. Yeah. What do they got? A, uh, do they put a clip on mic yeah, on wireless. you? A wireless. So then, what do you do with your hands when you're used to holding a microphone? I kind of just when I when I wasn't too sure, I just kind of did the uh, the Pulp Fiction dance where I put my two fingers in front of my eyes and waved <laughs> them back and forth, and I just didn't. That's effective. I didn't say why I was doing it. <laughs> all right, are we uh, are we ready for Noah? Uh, yep. Uh, all right. We, uh, okay. Um, well, what's going on here, Anthony? We're pretty much gonna test Noah. I don't know. I don't know. I I think we'll we'll see. We're, we're, this is an ongoing investigation. There's no. There's plenty of circumstantial evidence, but no real hard evidence as to his. But uh, he swears he had a girlfriend, life. Julia, and he wrote sure. a song about her. I know, sure he does. You want me to play the song again? Or? Please no. <laughs> okay. Please no. Just to prove that. No. You sure. Positive. <laughs> just a taste. I don't ever want to hear that again. Just, I really don't ever want to hear that song again. Just a little sample. How's that? Why would there be any reason? For Come on, just that? a little sample. Because, you know, people are just waking up. and Yeah, exactly. And uh, maybe they, didn't, subject to them maybe they didn't hear Noah's uh, song, so we should just play a little piece of it here, okay? Oh, oh. Ring, 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 banana phone. Ring, 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 banana phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. Who didn't see that coming? That's actually a little tougher than I remember it. I like it. <laughs> All right, where is Noah? Right here. Wow, Look, Danny just pushed him really hard. Danny's pushing him. <laughs> it's really getting bad. Well, we have a paragraph from Rent Boys, which is that steamy gay novelette about boys and sex and none of those icky women thrown in there. <laughs> yeah, this was something to ruin that, it. This is something that uh, Jimmy brought to the show. No surprise there. He, yeah, as a punishment for the manly uh, interns we have. It's a book uh, called Rent Boys, and when the interns... Uh, you know, messed up. We made him read from this uh, Rent Boys book. It's it's funny, it's embarrassing because it's really hardcore gay stuff. So what am I getting punished for? It's my question. Will you shut up until we we introduce you? Yeah, Interrupting yeah. Ope just there. That's wow, the yes. <laughs> so uh, the book went away for I don't know two months, right? Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, we're like, hey, where did that Rent Boys book go? No one wanted to fess up to where it was because <laughs> right. no one wanted anyone else to know they knew where it was. So it all... just disappeared. It's like, oh, well, it's in my uh, office in the drawer. Yeah. Uh, so we're all like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> where is it? Uh, whoever knows where it is is a <laughs> homo. Uh, isn't that that gay book or something? <laughs> right. <laughs> It was so funny how no one would even attempt to tell where it was. It's around here somewhere. 
And then everyone may believe they really didn't know and yeah. started kicking things Someone around. Someone found it very quickly. Yeah, who found it? Who found it? It was sitting on top of Jim's desk. Who found it? No, it wasn't. We don't make things up here, Eric. Where was it? It was Where over was there it? somewhere. No, it wasn't. It was... It really was on Jim's desk? Was it desk? on Jim's Everything desk? Jim had was sitting on Jim's desk. <laughs> <laughs> it was not on my desk. Faggot. <laughs> I, I, I don't have a desk. I don't, that, my desk hasn't arrived yet. They had that plastic uh, play, play school, school desk yeah. that I can't use. How do, you, how do you write on a desk when there's little square and round holes in it to put the pegs in with the plastic hammer? That awful play school. Yeah. And, what, uh, and they put, didn't they put little things on it? Like I, I don't, toys and stuff? I don't go near it. Like it, told, it was a bit, like a bit or something they were trying. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I know Bruce is ordering me another one. I don't have my computer, nothing. So I, I never spend time in the office. No respect. That's all right. I don't even know why you need a desk and a computer. You're here know. five minutes before the show starts, and you're here maybe ten minutes after the maybe show ends. Maybe because he's got to leave right away to get to his computer. That, exactly. Maybe <laughs> if I had more time, I would be able to do a little bit of work there here. There you go. Go on a drudge report. Yeah. You know, hey, I've been idea for tomorrow, boys. Hey, I found uh, something. Found a little something. A little something. Well, here's uh, a test we're going to do with Noah. We got Rent Boys, and then we got uh, something from Penthouse Forum, I believe, right? Uh huh. Penthouse Forum. You know how these things are. Can people I? People write in these fake fantasies and uh, push them off as as real. Can I suggest that hmm. we start with the real hot Penthouse Forum letter, yeah. and then end with Rent Boys, so everyone has that awful taste in their mouth? Yeah. Nice way to phrase it. Yeah, really, Alfie. <laughs> Jesus. What do you think? Um, or do you want to let the the gang as off? As long as it all ends with the banana song, I don't care. All right, but do, I mean, do you want to let the listeners off the hook and do the the hot the hot penthouse form thing last? You know who's reading this? How hot do you think this is going to oh, be? Oh, yeah, good point. How hot do you think a penthouse forum letter is going to be with him reading it? Well, the the whole thing is the whole test here is the comparison. So, which one do you want him to read first, Anthony? Um. Well, might as well let him read the one that's going to make him puke first. That would be the uh, penthouse. Penthouse, form. right? Yeah, obviously. Okay. Noah, you're an actor, right? Yep. I am an actor. So, uh, you see the highlighted paragraphs of Penthouse Forum? Yep. Why are you sure. going? Where's mine? This is because supposed to be. Because it involves girls. This is supposed to be really hot. No, this is like storytelling time. It's full of weird. But, but you're you're an actor, right? Yeah. So you could really present this as as dialogue and not just reading it all monotone, right? And why are you still wearing the three hundred dollars scarf? Because it's three hundred bucks. It doesn't trust any of us. Earlier, Daniel take it and hock it. Earlier, you said that uh, it's because you just came from outside. Yeah, I've got to take it off. <laughs> Burberry. What is it? Burberry. Burberry? Yeah. Burberry. Because Ben knew that. Hey, not that these guys know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <a> Boston ass. <laughs> Bono wears one. Yeah, what are we, bums? <laughs> you have a bunch of asses that work for us. <laughs> What's that stuff? It's toilet paper. These guys don't use that. They just use their hands and their watch. Ah, like monkeys. Eventually, we got to uh, get Steven here to talk about his imaginary friend, Ramon. <laughs> Ramon. What the hell is going on with that? Oh, 911. <laughs> Ramon, fill the bucket with peroxide and lower my head into it. <laughs> Ramon, <laughs> clean that up. <laughs> or is it clean this up? His pal Ramon. <laughs> He's got a pal, an imaginary friend named Ramon. Ramon. And we're wasting time with Noah? I know. There's major issues going on with Steve. Steve is a bona fide horse's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Ramon. <laughs> what? All right, Noah. We're ready. Okay. Give it your all. <clears throat> all right. I'll read along. So this is the penthouse one. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Get into character now. You're okay. a heterosexual male. <laughs> really work it. That's not going to be too hard, but okay. Um, Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> not reading uh, from this. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, mm -hmm. I pulled off her pants and panties. I took off her shirt and used to gag her mouth. She was left with only her bra, and I told her she was now my slave. This is your acting? Dude, start this over, This is man. like acting? Oh, okay. There, there are Read guys in their like... car that just want a jacket. Read this like dialogue. <laughs> now picture this scene. You're, right. you're one of these kiss and tell guys. You're a guy with his buddy. You're sitting at the bar. You railed this girl that, that both of you have been looking at, right? You're, you're like a construction worker. Yeah, you're a okay. construction worker. Just off the job, you went for a few pops at you're, the local tavern. You're crass and rude. 
You have no, you, you don't hold back to your friends with the sex stories. You tell them. So you got to kind of, you know, you lean over to them. You've done a couple of shots. And now you're explaining what happened that night with, uh, with this chick. All right. I think I, I need that motivation. But now I can no do, problem. Now Her I name can, is do better. Julia. Julia. All right. Here we go. All right. Okay. Let's go. Okay. I pulled off her pants and panties. <laughs> I took off her shirt and used it to gag her mouth. She was left with only her bra, and I told her she was now my slave. She nodded her approval, and I caught her bra. Her breasts were two huge pillows with dark, chunky nipples. I began licking and sucking those sweet titties, biting her left nipple while squeezing the right. She was squirming, and I realized she was having a massive orgasm while I dominated her. <laughs> By now, my cock was so hard it was painful. I dropped my pants underwear without warning, plunged my nine-inch tool up her pussy. <laughs> the gag in her mouth muffled her screams as I popped her cherry. I began pumping and biting her tits so hard that when I came, I left teeth indentations in her nipples. The next paragraph. The next oh, paragraph. Yeah. We both came at the same time. She passed out while I filled with my sperm cocktails. <laughs> After a few seconds, she came around and I instructed her that she was my slave and that she was to move into my home. She obediently called home and told her mother to bring her belongings over to my place. I don't like the way you don't say words completely. Like, uh, she obediently called home and told her mother to bring her belongings over to my place. You don't say the words. Belong belongings. Belongs. You just doesn't... Belongs. Obediently. After that reading, I got an any. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just that the was, worst. I'm going to blame that on my training in uh, journalism school. It's not the best. Training in journalism school? Yeah. There was no emotion to that whatsoever. Yeah. It was a very monotone delivery. I had a bigger ride when Cronkate... Cronkate. Oh! Uh, oh, at least you didn't say Cronkate. <laughs> <laughs> Cronkite gave a sexier proclamation of JFK's death with where I was going. <laughs> Took his glasses off. That yeah. was hot. Yeah. Cronkate. Cronkate. Oh, you horrible. Uh, uh, he's disgusted with himself. Yeah, there was really no... Um, I wasn't feeling that. I didn't feel any sincerity in it. You know, I, I, I felt like you were reading this without really any first-hand knowledge of what was going on in this. Well, it's a first-time read. I mean, if I guess if I practiced it a little bit, it might have been... What if you did it once? <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, okay. If you All practiced. Right. Maybe we can do better with uh, Rent Boys. All right. Uh, Maybe we can. Jimmy, right. Rent Boys. Where is uh, the paragraph that Jimmy is? <sighs> this was highlighted for quite a while ago. Starting right there and finishing right there. How All long right. is it? Is it just as long as the one he just read? Yes. Uh, right. Now, again, shorter, actually. let's uh, get some motivation here. Yes. Again, mm -hmm. now you're in a bar. Mm -hmm. um, where, 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 where Ben would know because yeah. he knows the city. Yeah. Where, what bar? Where would this be? What location are we looking at well, uh, here in Manhattan? Well, if Noah says, what's my motivation? It's Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're, you're, you're at a... Uh, yeah, what's, what's a good gay bar here in the city, uh, Ben? Not saying, anything manhole. About, not saying anything about Ben's sexuality. No, ben he just, just knows, knows everything. everything about the city. Yeah, no, we, we just know yeah, Ben The manhole... Everything. Where is that, Ben? Well, actually, the manhole doesn't exist anymore. No? It's, no. Opie and I have actually been to the new manhole. Hold on a minute. Oh, yeah? Wait a minute. <laughs> it's been renovated. Explain. The new manhole's been renovated? Yeah. Was that the place we went to Cool Lounge? Yeah, with your, that used your, to be your a friend that we ditched. Uh, oh, Fred. Right. Fred's yeah. cool. Yeah, we ditched him. Yeah. Wow, yeah. the new manhole. No. Is it, is it in the same place as the old manhole was? <laughs> well, we're hanging out in this lounge, and it's, it's real, actually really, it's really, really nice cool. Place, and uh, there are yeah. hot babes all over the place, Anthony. Really? At the new manhole? Yeah. yeah the so new is that the place you go? Uh, you go off the street, and you go around back, and then you go you go in through the back door. No, I wasn't. <laughs> you I kind of thought that no. No, it's oh really, uh, it actually is a cool place. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, he had to ditch his friend, so I had to pretend the cell phone was working. I'm like, uh, uh, and uh, Ben uh, was like, uh, and, and you were telling us that it was like an S&M club or something? Oh, well, it was the manhole, yeah, but it was like whips. And Jim probably, you probably went there, Jim. Huh? Yeah, I've never gone to any of those clubs. Never oh. sex clubs, never. All right, All right well, let's try the, let's say the duplex. That would be, that would be a good place All on right. Christopher Street. Christopher there. Street, there you go, the duplex, you're hanging out. Wait, did out. you say Christopher Street? You're a. Did there you, you say go. Christopher Street? I thought I heard it. Oh, I could be wrong. You're a gay man. 
Let's just now you're acting. You're a gay man. Just acting. And you're hanging out at this bar on Christopher Street, and uh, another gay man's next to you. And again, you're just telling him what happened the night before, trying to get uh, each other a little hot as you sit there and sip your Cosmo. Mind you, my uh, dad's listening to this right now. So. Uh, oh, he is. Oh yeah. Your yeah. dad listens. Oh yeah, he just to got, the show. Just got a subscription. Yep. That's good. Smart move. Yeah. Why would so. you do that? I don't know. He yeah. finds he finds it amusing. So cool. I don't know. All right. Does he find you amusing? Uh, I'm has not he, sure. Has he ever sat you down and just had a talk with you? Not really. Never no. had the talk about the the girls and stuff. What you do with them? And no, did he have the sex talk kid. with you when you were younger? No. The birds really. of the bees. Uh, or the birds and the birds. Yeah. Does he like your choice? <laughs> what happens when two drone workers decide to get together and say the hell with the queen? <laughs> does he um, does he accept the girls you bring home? Does he like them? Is he friendly with them? Oh uh, yeah. 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 Right now he's rolling his eyes, going, "Oh my God, my son's lying. He's never brought a girl home to my oh. house." <laughs> so anyway, Anthony. Well, there you go. There's your motivation, there, Noah. Yep. And now, if you will, read from Rent Boys. Rent Boys. That's Here we go. A, that's really a Everybody motivating. compare it to his reading from Penthouse <clears throat> Form, All right. if you will. All right. Give it some emotion. All right. Here we go. All right. I'll give it a shot. All right. Correct. Swallowing it and sucking it as if I could coax more juice from the slit, I closed and opened my eyes to look up his ripped, fur-coated abs and hard, flat chest. I saw his pale green eyes looking lackadaisically back just before his lids closed. Blah. Just before his lids closed shut, with his fingers knotted in my hair, he guided me across the expanse of his massive cock, <laughs> making me learn its dimensions and texture with my tongue. By the time he pulled it out and slapped it lightly against my cheek and nose, I knew everything about him. I kissed his full, smooth nuts, sniffing at the dark, tangled hair above his cock as he rolled a condom over his crown and downed his shaft. <laughs> I bent to get a bottle of lube from the bag and slowly stroked clear fluid up and down his hard, twitching cock. Without saying a word, John took the bottle from me, held it near his cock, letting the slick gel drip down to his crotch. All right, I'll admit it, man. This is intern abuse at this point. Wow. <laughs> All right, now let's let's. That was interesting, and I appreciate you sharing that with us. Now let's get the book first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now read from the book. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> you know, I got to say, I got to say, there was a, and, and I'm not drawing any conclusions Because we I'm, really don't know. And I'm quite frankly, saying, it doesn't matter. We don't really care. Nothing matters either way. It does, and I'm, I'm not drawing conclusions, but all I'm saying is there did seem to be a hint more emotion, <laughs> familiarity in that reading than there was in the penthouse reading. Now, maybe you could attribute that to, you know, the Penthouse was your first, was first reading, reading one, yeah. and this one's your second. Yeah. One was a reading, and one was a memory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you seemed a bit more uh, nervous with the, the second reading. You seemed more comfortable, and there was more emotion when you said cock <laughs> than when you said your nine-inch tool in her pussy, you know? It just seemed like you emphasized cock. <laughs> <laughs> like when you said that the other gentleman... Slapped your face with it and made you learn its textures <laughs> with your tongue. That seemed, you know, there was a hint of, ah, yes, I recall this. That's right, the old learning process. <laughs> you know, and with your penthouse read, it was kind of like, huh, what? what is this? I, what? I'm, I hope you did well with. The other reading, you, it sounded to me like you were just saying hi to an old friend. <laughs> an old lubed up friend smacking in the cheek. I think I should get another shot at the penthouse. Maybe sometime. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe sometime. We, maybe we can maybe do sometime. that at some later date. Yeah. yeah. Right. Not that it was a bad read, but when you're describing her body and you start retching a little bit, that yeah. kind of makes us think that you're not yeah. into it. Mm. Oh, my God. Her <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, bang up job, Noah. And, His uh, furry uh, abs. <laughs> furry abs. Smooth nutsack. Her. <laughs> <laughs> this just in from Ginny. Uh, <laughs> Noah's dad just shot himself next to his XM radio. <laughs> All right. Well, 
Thank you, Noah. I'm sorry, Dad, if you're listening. <laughs> uh, Hump X from Rhode Island wants to know what Christopher Street is. He has no clue, I guess. Uh, is there a Rhode Island reference to him? Yeah, Rhode, Rhode Island. Street? Rhode Island. <laughs> it's a place here in uh, Manhattan. It's a mm-hmm. street in an area that a lot of uh, gay men frequent. Uh-huh. Is there a big gay area in Rhode Island or something? Um, Providence is supposed to be like a big... Uh, yeah? Yeah. I think there's a lot of dykes street. in... Uh, Oh, I have a dykes in Rhode Island, right? You might be thinking of uh, Providence Town. Providence oh, Town, right? Yeah, yeah, Providence, which is uh, the tip of uh, Cape Cod. Hmm. No, I'm very, very uh, interesting to say the least. Thank you. Hey, hello, Julia. Good morning, America. There's a guy with a sign that just said "Hello, Julia." Oh, hey, there he goes, Noah. Ben, what do you think? We really He's don't laughing know. at this idiot that goes, "Yeah, there's a gay part of Rhode Island, Providence." I don't know. Everyone. Wrong state. Providence well, Town. Cape Cod. Oh, I don't know. I know. I know this stuff. Is that what Burberry's factory 